Special Unit 2, a boot camp cure for web obsession. With teens marching in rows and columns, the boot camp looks like programs around the world for troubled youths. Drill instructors drive young men through military-style obstacle courses. Counselors lead group sessions, and there are even workshops on pottery and drumming for therapy. But these young people are not battling addictions to alcohol or drugs. Rather, they suffer from what many in this country believe is a new and potentially deadly problem, cyberspace addiction. New medical studies suggest that too much Internet use can harm your mental health. There is no official classification or name for an extreme obsession with the Internet, but many medical professionals have called the phenomenon Internet addiction. They consider it to be a psychological dependence similar to a drug addiction. Researchers at a Korean university and an American institution now link the addiction to symptoms, such as hostility, depression, worry, and a tendency to focus on unwanted thoughts. The Korean U.S. research team ranked 328 Korean senior high school students in terms of their weekly Internet use over the course of a month. Sixteen students were classified as excessive, using the Internet for an average of about 19 hours a week. Male students significantly outnumbered female students in both the moderate and excessive user groups. With online gaming regarded as a professional sport, and with 90% of homes in Korea connected to cheap, high-speed broadband, such ready access to the web has come at a price. Compulsive Internet use has been identified as a national issue here in recent years. To address the problem, the government has built a network of 140 Internet addiction counseling centers, in addition to treatment programs at almost 100 hospitals and, more recently, the Internet Rescue Camp. The camp, in a forested area about an hour south of Seoul, was created to treat the most severe cases. Initially, the camp had problems with participants sneaking away to go online, even during a 10-minute break before lunch. Now, the campers are constantly watched and are kept busy with chores like washing their clothes and cleaning their rooms. One participant said that he began using the computer to pass the time, while his parents were working and he was home alone. He said he quickly came to prefer the virtual world, where he seemed to enjoy more success and popularity than in the real one. He spent 17 hours a day online, mostly looking at comics and playing computer games. He played all night and skipped school two or three times a week to catch up on sleep. When his parents told him he had to go to school, he reacted violently. Desperate, his mother sent him to the camp. I don't have a problem, the boy said in an interview three days after starting the camp. 17 hours a day online is fine. But later that day, he seemed to have changed his mind, if only slightly. As a drill instructor barked orders, the boys marched through a cold autumn rain to the obstacle course. Wet and shivering, the first boy began climbing the first obstacle, a telephone pole with small metal rungs. At the top, he slowly stood up, with his legs shaking and arms outstretched for balance. Below, the other boys were holding a safety rope attached to a harness on his chest. Do you have anything to tell your mother? The drill instructor shouted from below. No. He yelled back. Tell your mother you love her. Ordered the instructor. I love you, Mom. He replied. Then jump. Ordered the instructor. The boy bent his legs and leapt to a nearby trapeze, catching it in his hands. Fighting! Yelled the other boys, using the English word that in Korea means roughly, don't give up. After the boy descended, he said, That was better than online games. Was it thrilling enough to keep him off the internet? I'm not thinking about games now, so maybe this will help. The boy added, from now on, maybe I'll just spend five hours a day online.